Hi, Lorraine Menza here, and in this video blog, I'm going to talk to you about get your head in the game, and this is especially for internet marketers, but it is also for people who sit down mostly all day to work. Um, do you ever feel like you're in a brain fog? Now, I watched this PBS special with Dr. Mike Dow, and he talks about brain fog and how it can affect us, and how you're not as mentally acute, um, how you're, you're not feeling as good as you could be, you're not as energized. And when you're sitting down all day, it certainly doesn't help with this situation. So you need to figure out ways of, of energizing yourself and getting more memory retention and getting, you know, to be more creative and coming off with a spark. And especially if you're in internet marketing. So here are some of the suggestions that Dr. Michael Dow did. He wrote this book called Brain Fog Fix. And the first one was lifelong learning. Always, always be willing. And studies have shown from around the world that people who want to learn all the time do much better with memory retention. Now, a lot of times uh, people after they graduate college or high school, or whatever their last institution was, they feel like learning is done with, and that's totally not true. I mean, we should always be lifelong learning. It refreshes us. It helps It helps us give more back to the world. Uh, makes us a much more interesting person. Okay, the other thing that he talked about was social connectivity. So many people are tied up with their, their internet, their technology, their phones, they're texting, they're looking down. They don't even socialize with the person next to them. Well, there's, there's so many people out there that don't, are, aren't socially connected and they need to get more. Uh, there are so many people who live alone and you need to spend the time and reach out to a friend or call somebody that means something to you. But spend the time. Get off your technology. We're not talking Facebook. We're not talking Twitter. We're not talking LinkedIn. Not that kind of connectivity. But actually maybe face-to-face -face or on the phone, actually talking to a person and getting connected. If you live alone, it's good to have a dog. He said go adopt a, a dog. And because you can hug an animal and that... Uh, releases oxytocin which makes you feel so much better so think about that second or the third thing is spiritual do you know that a third of the people under 30 are not don't have any kind of religious connection or any kind of spiritual connection and they have found that this is so good for the the parietal lobe the the prefrontal cortex it helps um, exercise it and physically um, enhances it, thickens it, and which is very, very, very good for your memory and your mood enhancing everything. And yet some, pe some people have no religious or spiritual connection. So prayer, meditation, singing, chanting, music, these are all good things that you can do. Going out and, as one with nature and appreciating the quietness of a sunset or a sunrise or just appreciating those things around you are very good. It's very quieting. Um, so he recommends that people explore their spiritual paths. By the way, meditation, if you're doing at least 12 minutes a day, it can improve your memory by 10 to 20 percent. Wow, that's that's pretty good. Other things that um, that you need to do is be in gratitude. How often do we look focus on the wrong things and not on the right stuff? Focus on this is what's right in my life right now. And thank your God, whoever you believe in. Thank them for that. Be in gratitude. Maybe have a gratitude journal. My dog's having a little, you know, he's just having some fun <laughs> going back and forth there. But be, you know, be grateful for the things that you have. So it's very important. It will it'll make you more optimistic, more calm, more inspired, get more joy in your life. If you're doing these things, so the things, let's just repeat them again. Be a lifelong learner, um, getting socially connected, increasing your spirituality, looking at your gratitude. And we talked about meditation, but one other thing is your diet. Last but not least, your diet. Get more omega-3s in your diet. They're very good. And 
if you're doing all these things that I mentioned, it helps balances those brain chemicals like dopamine, uh, serotonin. What was another one? He said there was serotonin. I can't think, but there's three of them. And when those are balanced, you're not so much in that brain fog where you're feeling moody or you don't feel as good as you do. You forget stuff. Um, you're not as energetic as you should be. Oh, exercise. That was a key one. Exercise. Get up and exercise. And here's, you know, walking 22 minutes a day can really help improve your brain fog. So, some suggestions. You know, after lunch and dinner, go walk around the block. Park a little further away from where you intended to park and, and walk to that destination. If you're taking public transportation, get off a stop sooner and walk the rest of the way. Go up those stairs. So all these things combined help with your brain fog. Uh, Dr. Mike Dow, giving him credit, it's called the Brain Fog Fix, brain fog fix the book. But I'm talking about it's getting your head in the game. It's getting you more energized ready for your day and taking positive action. So if you want to get your head in the game, start doing some of these things that Dr. Michael Dow suggested. Have yourself a great day. Take care.